Calls are intensifying from multiple stakeholders for more efforts to bring about a truce in the war in Gaza. Palestinian Prime Minister Dr. Mahmoud Mustafa has highlighted that India has a major role in resolving the ongoing Gaza war. In a letter earlier this week, Mustafa expressed his gratitude for India's consistent support of the Palestinian cause and India's potential to resolve the ongoing situation. He highlighted the need for India to engage in all diplomatic avenues to promote an immediate ceasefire and other support to help the people in Gaza. Meanwhile, in Israel, thousands of demonstrators took to the streets of Israel in anti-government demonstrations on Saturday. The recent display of anger in Tel Aviv was the biggest in a series of weekly demonstrations that have continued since the war broke out in October 2023. Two separate demonstrations broke out on Saturday, one denouncing Prime Minister Netanyahu's handling of the war in Gaza and the other demanding the homecoming of hostages still held in Hamas's captivity. Both the groups later came together for a gathered march blocking multiple roads in the city. We stand here today bereaved families besides families of hostages in a shared message. Today marks 253 days since our loved ones were taken captive by Hamas terrorists and held in the hell that is Gaza. Signaling a political turn, the demonstrations are taking. The demonstrations are also focusing on demands for the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Addressing the massive crowd, Israeli opposition leader Yair Lapid has accused Prime Minister Netanyahu of passing discriminatory laws. He condemned the revival of the ultra-Orthodox enlistment bill, which will excuse the ultra-Orthodox from military service. He claimed that Netanyahu was stalling the bill so that people forget that he is, and I'm quoting here, guilty and responsible for the terror onslaught on October. On the other hand, National Unity Party lawmaker Gadi Eisenkot accused Netanyahu of delaying the Israeli Defense Forces operation in Rafah by three months. Eisenkot had served as a war cabinet observer from the start of the war in Gaza till his party departed from the government last Sunday. He accused Netanyahu of stretching out the war for his own motives and gains. <laughs> 